search for a rain icon, insert it, click on convert to shape, ungroup it, click on one of the drops, go to animations, click on line animation, make the end of it smaller, go to effect options, make smooth start and smooth end zero, go to timings, select timing as one second and repeat this until end of slide. Click OK, select the drop, click on animation painter, apply the same animation to all three drops. Duplicate the three drops, place them underneath like so, move them up slightly, color them blue, send it to back, color the cloud as white, start all these animations with previous. Next, under icons, search for cloudy, select this icon, click insert, let's make this bigger, convert it to shapes, ungroup it, change the color for the sun to an orange, change the color for the cloud to a white, select the sun, go to animations, click on object color under emphasis, click on animation pane, go to effect options, click on timing, change the timing to one second, and start it with previous, click OK. Next, copy the cloud icon from the previous slide. Select a circular shape, move this behind the cloud, change the color fill to an orange and change the shape outline to no outline. Let's reduce the cloud size, place another one here. Click on one of the cloud icons, go to animations, click on line animation, change the direction to right, adjust the end point, click on animation pane, click on effect options, change the smooth start and smooth end to zero, click on auto reverse, click on timing, start it with previous and repeat this until end of slide. Apply the same animation to this bottom cloud except the direction needs to be left. This is how the three animations look in the full screen mode. For more such tips and tutorials, please subscribe to my channel.